AI agents actually do your work for you now, not just suggest things like ChatGPT does, but it will actually send emails, it can manage calendars, it can research topics and handle the repetitive tasks that eat up hours every day. The problem is, most people don't actually know how to use them. So over the last 30 days, I built three AI agents using Lindy and tested them with real workflows. Now, Lindy is an end-to-end -end platform for AI agents. You can build with the visual flow editor, you can compose tools and ship agents to web, phone and apps. You can start with templates, then tailor behavior, memory and tools to your stack. And you need absolutely zero 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 AI agent experience and in this video I partnered up with Lindy to show you step by step how I built each agent what they do and which ones are actually worth your time and you're going to see how easy these AI agents are to build literally using just one or two prompts so starting with the agent that saved me the most hours is agent one building me a website okay so let's start off easy with a quick task I want Lindy to build a web website for me. It's crazy that building an entire website is a quick task for Lindy. It really shows how good AI agents are getting. I'm going to use some basic prompts and I'm purposely using the most basic prompt because I want to illustrate how you don't need to be a prompt engineer to use Lindy. So I'll type into Lindy, research me online and create a personal website for me. So literally just a 10 word prompt and let's see what Lindy can do. And it gets to work. It uses the AI powered search engine perplexity to search for me online and this is the advantage of AI agents is that you don't need to give it context right the AI agent will find context itself so you can see here it says I'll help you research online and create a personal website let me start by researching you and then building a personal site and then it goes on to say that it's researching for my LinkedIn profile to get more background information about what I do and the companies that I run and just a few minutes later it's built me quite a well-designed website and the data who's found about me and my companies and added to website, they've got that spot on. So let's say I want to tweak the website and improve it. For example, I don't love the generic AI generated images that it's used. So I'll ask Lindy to improve them. I'll say the website is good, but add some of my own images and don't use the generic AI generated images. And then I'll drop in a few of my own images and away Lindy goes to add the images I gave it to the website and that in my opinion, looks a lot better. And that took me, what, less than a few minutes to build a website with Lindy. And then if I want someone on my team to take over from this project, I just click the share button and make the link public. And then I can copy the link and share it to other members of my team. So Lindy, do purposely make these projects easy to collaborate with your team or clients or whoever you're working with. Okay, so with building the website, I purposely gave Lindy a very simple 10 word prompt to show you how the AI agent will collect the context for you. For the next example, I'm going to use a far more detailed prompt, right? So I'm going to create a meeting prep agent. So I have anywhere from three to five or six online meetings every day. Before each meeting, I used to spend a good five to 10 minutes scrambling to remember who I'm meeting with, what we discussed last time, what I need to prepare. And that adds up to what, 15 to 50 minutes a day just on meeting preparation. So let's build a meeting prep agent to speed that workflow up. And as I mentioned, I'm going to use a far more complex and detailed prompt, still not that complex though. So I've written, create a meeting prep agent that automatically prepares me for upcoming meetings. Then I've written what the trigger is, which is when I have a meeting scheduled in my calendar within the next 30 minutes, then I've written four actions that I want the agent to actually do. And then the delivery and the format. I want the summary to be sent to me via email and the format, it should be relatively short and brief. Now, Lindy gets straight to it. It gives you a narrative in real time on what it's working on. Again, what's nice about AI agents is that they connect with other apps. So Lindy is asking me to give access to my inbox and also my calendar so that it actually automates the process and it actually knows when a call has been booked and it has some context on who that person is. Obviously, it needs that context to then find more information about them and give that context to me. 
That's the whole point of this AI agent. And about three minutes later, you can see it says, you can now test the agent using the test panel that just opened. So let's go ahead and test it to see if it actually does work. I'll create a test meeting on my phone because that's where I usually create meetings. It will be meeting with Mike at 5.20 p.m. today, and I'll invite one of my other emails just to test this out. Now, the AI agent should be triggered by that calendar invite, and it should be doing background research on this Mike person that has just booked a meeting with me and researching the internet to find find out who he is and what he does. And an email will be sent to me with a brief description of who this Mike person is. So the email that I received, it's actually given me a lot more context than I would have thought it would. It's given me the meeting details. It gives me a bit of background about what Bike Lab HQ does. It checks if I have any email history with that company. But this is what's interesting. It also checked my Google Drive to find relevant documents I have for this company. And it has found some, and then it gives me some meeting preparation tips. So you can see how, unlike ChatGPT or Claude, this AI agent actually links with your Google Drive, with your Google Calendar, with your inbox, and it finds the information itself, meaning you don't have to give all the information and context yourself. Okay, so I have quite a few YouTube channels. One of them is called Bike Lab, and I basically review cycling gear. I also have a website, bikelabhq.com, and I want to build an agent that automatically turns my YouTube videos into blog posts. I don't even want to have to drag and drop, and I want this to be an automated system. And for this AI agent, I'm going to use the prompt, turn my YouTube scripts to optimized SEO blog posts. I will give you access to the folder for the script and away Lindy goes. You can see here it says, please share the folder link and I'll get started. So I just find the OneDrive shared link that these scripts are in and I copy and paste the folder link into Lindy. What's nice is that you can see Lindy in real time exactly what it's doing. You can see it opening each document and reading through it in real time. So I gave Lindy three YouTube scripts, just as an example, to turn into SEO optimized blog posts. And here they are, ready to download. And Lindy gives me a breakdown on exactly what it's done and how the scripts have been optimized. And I'll tell you what, the scripts are pretty good and it took just a few minutes. Now, you can see how with an AI agent, I don't have to just convert one script at a time, right? But I can literally give the AI agent a folder of 50 YouTube scripts and it will go away and convert those 50 scripts into blog posts because the AI agent has access to the folder and can find the scripts itself. Now, you can see how AI agents aren't just hype anymore, right? They're practical tools that can handle real work right now, but you have to know which tasks to automate and how to set them up properly. Most people never get past the, this sounds cool phase because they don't know where to start, but you can start right here. You can try Lindy for yourself. You really don't need any experience at all with AI agents as I've just shown you. Even just very simple prompts work really well. I've dropped a link in the description below for you to check Lindy out. And if you like this video, I've got two more AI agent videos that I filmed a few weeks ago. You can click here and here and I'll see you over there.